I am introducing you to an amazing, amazing idea and opportunity that I heard from the Pitcher Nonprofit community. I'm Liberty Madison, and I host Pitcher Nonprofit, which is the number one nonprofit show on Clubhouse. And we're also the number one pitch club on Clubhouse. So I'm really, really excited about that. We funded over $225,000 to nonprofit founders. I have to say it's the best show I've ever been a part of. I'm so excited to host it and hearing the stories and seeing the impact of actual nonprofits and how they're working grassroots in the community has been just life changing and life altering for me. I'm really, really excited to be a part of this show. And one thing that I've been hearing a lot from people is how do I catch the episodes and also how can I practice my pitch? As you know, we have the Pitcher Nonprofit Leadership Membership Community where we come together and practice your pitch. You practice your pitch because I believe that it is important to constantly practice your pitch in order to make sure you're effectively communicating your mission, vision, and your purpose to potential funders in various stages of funding, whether it be an individual, whether you're preparing for a capital raise, it really doesn't matter whether it is the clerk at the checkout counter. You have to be prepared to pitch You have to be prepared at all times. And one thing that I've noticed with nonprofit founders, they're not accustomed to the pitch. It's typically something that comes from the tech space. And being in the tech space, I've heard thousands and thousands and thousands of pitches. It's just something that happens. And especially as that tech girl, when I'm on panels or I'm at demo days or I'm at pitch practice, it's a constant thing. So everyone is constantly working on perfecting their pitch because money is on the line. And you're probably thinking, oh, why they're constantly perfecting their pitch? Because they're getting in front of angel investors, they're getting in front of potential VCs, potential customers, potential advisors. The list can go on and on as to why having a pitch is necessary and having a powerful pitch positions you in order to receive all of the things that I just mentioned. I will say for me, excuse the the cold here, but I will say for me, I love the pitch. I love, love, love pitching because there's core elements and pitch frameworks that you can utilize in order to make sure you're communicating effectively. And I like the pitch because you can have various versions of your pitch. You have to know your audience, right? You have to know your audience, know who you're talking to, and tailor it towards that. For example, if you are on Pitcher Nonprofit and you're on the Clubhouse version of Pitcher Nonprofit, then you're probably not going to go into your 1.5 or 2.5 million capital raise that you're looking for as your operational budget for your nonprofit organization. You're probably going to go into a bit of a tailored version of that pitch and tailor it towards the room, the audience, and look at the guest sharks and look at the sharks that are there and really tailor it to what is it that can be done by the sharks, by the show, and also what can be done on your behalf with the audience. One thing that I love to do is I love, 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 love to activate the audience on behalf of nonprofit founders. You would be surprised how many nonprofits are funded. I mean, fully funded by the activation of Pitcher Nonprofit Community. And that is key. So for example, you probably wouldn't ask for that 1.5, 2.5 capital raise as an overall arching theme. You would probably tailor it towards something more attainable that people can kind of grab onto and say, look, we're looking to raise $5,000. And this is why, this is how it'll be used. And I've seen multiple people come on to Pitcher Nonprofit, multiple founders come on to Pitcher Nonprofit and receive funding for their entire programs, their entire summer programs, their entire program that they've outlined. People come on for various reasons at various stages and they will need 
We've had people ask for tangible items such as a location, a van, which you can't assess a value to that because these founders have been looking for resources in order to secure a location, to secure a vehicle, and they've been able to find the solution to these problems at Picture Nonprofit Show. That is one of the things that actually the main thing that I'm super, super excited about with Picture Nonprofit Show. It's just a fantastic opportunity to see the work and to see the founders come to the stage and really present at their at their best. And most of the time it's new. It's completely new for founders they've never pitched before. That's a new concept. That's a new conversation for them. So I wanted to take this time to introduce you to what I'm releasing now for Pitcher Nonprofit. As you know, the show expanding the brand and expanding the show, I get a lot of DMs that really want to listen to pitches and listen to people really focus on their ass so they can prepare their own framework. And I think that's really valuable. So that's something that I do want to to add and offer. So my goal is to have weekly upload my favorite pitch and a pitch that I admire and give some feedback on that. Maybe I'll come on camera. Maybe I'll just kind of write it in the description. I don't know. But I wanted to just have this conversation as to what you can expect on YouTube and what you can expect from listening to the pitches. And I'll quickly go over what a successful pitch sounds like. A successful pitch is, you can find more about it at pitchernonprofit.com and also at libertymadison.com and on Instagram because that is the back channel for all things Clubhouse. You can go there and it is what we call the perfect pitch. So to prepare your perfect pitch for a pitcher nonprofit, I like to simplify it in more of a conversational tone to not overwhelm people. I feel like that is the best way to communicate what you need to do and kind of ease the nerves. Cause I know a lot of people come up and they're super nervous and I present it as who are you? Okay. Like that, we get that part. Who are you? What do you do? What do you want? Just think about those three things. Who are you? What do you do? What do you want? But also think about what I like to call the icing on the cake. The icing on the cake is why you, why you, why are you doing this? Why, why you? And when you open that why you opportunity, you're going to, you're going to, I'm going to give you some examples. So don't worry. And that's the magic framework. It is those three elements. Who are you? What do you want? What do you do? And why you? And that is the perfect pitch for not only for nonprofit founders, because I use this framework with my tech founders as well. And I also use this framework in my DM pitch chat as well. And you guys can learn more about that. We are working on getting that out to more people. And I want to say it applies to really everything. It's just not nonprofit founders. But in this particular context of nonprofit founders, when you come to the stage, you really want to focus on who are you? What do you want? What do you do? And that bonus that's going to be like, oh, as Shelton Banks would say, who's one of our sharks, he would say, pull on those heartstrings. When you pull on the heartstring, it is really focused on the story behind it. And that is the why you. So like, why you? Why, why are you doing this? And one of the examples that I want to talk about for the why you is We've had a number of founders come and pitch. And I remember one founder in particular, and he talked about a, a particular community that needed resources and did not have the proper water and just natural things that you need. It's, it's just basics that you need. And it's one thing to talk about a particular need, but it's another thing to add a personal story to it. For example, he didn't have a personal story to that. He just saw it and wanted to take action. That is fantastic. That's great. So he really hit the who are you, what do you do, what do you need? But the why you, it's like, why, why are you doing this? Did, did you come from this, this 
this far away place or what, why you? One example that I can think about is, I like to use this example is William is artistic and William is autistic. And with that organization, it's one of my favorite stories because Janelle is the founder of William is Autistic and she's come to the show. She's been an audience member at Pitching on Profit for months. And she came week after week and just kind of listen in. And that's what I advise anyone to do if they're going to apply to Pitching on Profit. Go watch the show, sit in the audience, watch the show and do that. And she came to the show and she really took notes and she really honed in and she really, really worked on her pitch because as you know, at Pitcher Nonprofit, we are the Shark Tank of Nonprofits. However, we take it a step further and we give you on the spot coaching that is what you need to hear. It is definitely, it, it's definitely in that place where we're like, wait a minute. Okay. If you would have said this, put it like this, wrap this conversation over here, bring that bottom to the top. It is an accelerated coaching program for anyone who's coming to the stage. We really help prepare you for the next time you pitch. So back to Janelle. With her, with her organization, she came to the stage and she worked on her pitch so much. You could just, you could just tell she worked on it. You really could. You could tell she worked on it. And I was thoroughly impressed because not only did we hear her pitch once or twice, we had heard her pitch before. And it was so moving as she repurposed and repositioned a number of things on her pitch. And she landed all of the sharks. Her entire summer program was funded on Pitcher Nonprofit Show. I really think that people underestimate the value of the pitch. You have to be prepared for communication and positioning of what you're actually doing and talking about. Talking about Because another thing that I've noticed too, with a lot of founders, they will focus on the who do you are, what do you do? And that, that last part, the third part, they will just completely drop that off. And as I always say, I'm pitching on profit, without the ask, it's just a PSA. It's, it's just a PSA. And I, I don't try to be harsh on them. I'd be like, is this a PSA or is this a pitch? Like, which one? Because if this is just something you wanted us to know about, thank you so much for coming to the stage to tell us what you're doing. Side note, never take time to give a PSA. You can literally shoot a video for that and release it. Don't take time to shoot a PSA. Take time to do a pitch. You want to take time to do a pitch because that's going to position you to activate donors, contributors, fans, followers, the media, people who like you, people who believe in you, that will help your community. That will actually help your community grow. A PSA just informs them, but it doesn't activate them. Okay. So make sure you work on that. That is why I want to make sure that you guys have access to a number of my favorite pitches from Pitcher Nonprofit. And again, you'll be able to get Pitcher Nonprofit pitches. We are launching our podcast. So just stay tuned for that. I don't have a particular date for when it will be out, but I'm working on it. Okay. Working on it, doing the best I can to work on it because I know a lot of people in the DMs, they message me and they really value the help. They really value the help. And the show just to give you context on what the show is, the show is an amazing platform that focuses on nonprofit founders. I bring people to the stage and to the space with our guest sharks to help fund nonprofit founders. If you're not a founder, you can't pitch on Pitcher Nonprofit. You have to be a founder. There's a different journey. You're like, well, why? Why, Liberty? What are you talking about? There's a different journey and a mindset from a founder. Yes, you can be a volunteer, an executive director, an advocate, a board member, a direct. You can do all of that, but there's a different mindset and a different activation and a different lens that founders hold versus the rest of the organization. So you have to be a founder in order to pitch on Pitcher Nonprofit. And with that being said, 
you're going to hear from different founders who are moving through their journey of their pitches and securing funding at Pitch It Nonprofit. And with the show for Pitch It Nonprofit, people, it, it's just amazing because people get actual money, actual dollars. We post actual receipts and we stay with them through this journey. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning for Pitch Your Nonprofit. And we focus, obviously, on helping lay the groundwork, prepare the pitch, but we focus on visibility. As I always say, the number one thing between you and cash is visibility. That's the only thing. That's the only thing between you and funding is visibility. If people don't know you, they can't fund you. That's it. And Pitcher Nonprofit gives you that platform and gives you that, that engine and give you that spotlight in order to make funding possible for your organization. We are excited to produce this show and to move this show into different avenues and different mediums because we have built a community. I don't know if you can, you know how passionate nonprofit people are? They don't give up. They imagine nonprofit, imagine someone with a mission and a personal cause who doesn't have to be well funded, but motivated and determined and will never stop. That is a nonprofit founder. I love this community and I want to bring funding to this community. I want to bring mentorship. I want to be, bring advisors. And what I've experienced so far, I've had a number of my tech community come to pitch your nonprofit, listen to these pitches from nonprofit founders and jump on the boards of the nonprofits. So not only are they getting access to tech tools, tech talent. And I mean, let's be honest, tech funding, tech money is the, like, that's the best. And they're getting that. One of the founders who is an alum at Pitcher Nonprofit, he's received thousands and thousands of dollars from a connection from Pitcher Nonprofit. It's just amazing at the work that goes into Pitch a nonprofit, the community. And I want to take this time to thank everyone who is a part of the Pitch a Nonprofit community. So just kind of look out. I wanted to introduce what you can expect to see in the future and how that is going to look. I want you to subscribe to my channel where you can check out new episodes of Pitch a Nonprofit. I'm going to just put it in its own group so that way you can just see like Pitch a Nonprofit shows, whether we're talking to founders or you can really get the pitches and you'll have access to that. And all of the audio isn't clean. Like some of the audio is, you know, a, a little dirty, but I think it'll serve its purpose. And we'll improve the quality over time and we'll get, get it going. Because like I said, Pitcher Nonprofit is an unexpected hit. It is an unexpected hit, and I am happy to be the voice of this ship. I always say that <laughs> a lot of nonprofit founders are just kind of working with their head down, working with their head down, and they're not really focused on the thing that brings awareness and funding to them. And that's where I come in to the mix is leveraging influence, leveraging data, leveraging tech, leveraging production, and coming up with this weird intersection that is really proven to be a community builder and it's it's formed such a tight-knit community i'm just thankful to be a part of it i'm thankful to be the voice of it and as i constantly constantly say every week at pitcher nonprofit is again the only difference between you and cash is visibility that's it if they know about you, they can fund you. If they don't know about you, they cannot fund you. And I am here to cure MIA. Yes, because you're missing an action. If they can't find you, you're MIA, and I'm here to cure that. So we're here to cure that. You know, pitch a nonprofit show, and we're the Shark Tank of nonprofits. We're the number one nonprofit show on Clubhouse. And just stay tuned for all of the dope things coming out of pitch a nonprofit. I want to thank all of the sharks from. Gosh, from Mike, Shelton, Gerald, Quayara, I, just everyone that's come come to the stage and our guest sharks, the people that have just 
come week after week, it's just been a phenomenal opportunity and an amazing blessing. And I'm looking to see where it goes further. So subscribe and be sure to check out each pitch that I will be uploading.